no way that it would have done that before. Welcome back to Wrench Rip. Today, guys, we are working on the project lawnmower here. Project mud slash plow mower. And uh, today we're doing the first important step, which is welding the diff. Um, the importance of welding the diff is basically to be able to go over anything that it might pitch one of the rear wheels off the ground. Because right now, if that happens, well, just take a look at what happens. So we're going to fix that today by pulling the diff out of this thing and we're going to weld it up solid so we get both rear wheels spinning at all times. So let's get first to uh, pulling this big chunky hydrostatic transmission diff setup out of this thing. Alright, got all this junk pulled off. I think I have everything disconnected. We'll find out shortly. but. Just uh, these four bolts here, and I think this puppy will drop right out. So, uh, honestly, not as bad as I expected. So let's uh, let's see if we can actually get this thing pulled out here. All right, she's wobbling. Definitely wobbling. pretty light. Cool, one rear end removed. I think this side is going to be the one to pull off because this side has like what looks like a, some sort of pump. I don't really know how hydrostatic stuff works but obviously this is the input and then there's more stuff over there so now the differentials back here so I'm going to pull this little stuff off Hopefully it's not too hard. And then I should be able to just pop this cover and uh, weld that up and close it. So hopefully that goes to plan. I'm just going to pull all this junk off the side. Alright, got everything pulled off. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit and uh, take all these like 20 bolts out of the sides and pull the whole side cover off. And then I can get to welding, hopefully. Popping time. We have flex. Oh, oh, she's gonna pour. Oh no. Everywhere. Oh. The front had a few good like prying spots, but the back is not assisting in any way. All right, the seal has been broken. spider gears. This is what we need to weld. Well, allow me some time to ponder this dilemma and uh, I'll get back to you when I have figured out what I'm going to do. <laughs> Alright, so the verdict, this is actually great news. Uh, this is going to make our job a lot easier here. So this is a little spider gears. Normally this would stay together when you pull this apart, but in this case it's all it all fell apart and the way this sits it just kinda sits on there and that action that you're seeing right now is what makes it you know an open differential. It can each side can rotate independently. Now what I all I have to do to lock this up is to weld these gears to this block which is nice because I don't have to weld inside there and get like weld stuff all around. I can just weld this up, put this block back in, and it'll just be uh, locked up. Well, a little bit of a jump ahead, but I actually got this, uh, this all welded up. That's our little spider gears. 
And uh, I'm just going to assemble this tomorrow. I'm kind of tired. It's Friday night. I want to go have some fun instead of uh, putting this back together. Plus, i got to get oil. So uh, we'll pick this up probably tomorrow for reassembly. And hopefully it still works <laughs> after I put it back together. All right, it's reassembly day for this thing. Hopefully it's gonna work after what we've uh, done, trying to molest this thing, but uh, we got our oil. I got my welded locked gear cleaned up. Um, and we're gonna throw this thing back together. Hopefully it doesn't leak. And like I said, hopefully it works. So I'm gonna get this thing prepped, get some silicone, on both sides and then meet the two back together. That's okay. I'm moving around with my dirty hands too. People are going to be cringing like crazy from this, but I really don't care. This mower was going to get sent to the scrapyard anyway, so if this doesn't work when it goes back together, okay. <laughs> Wow. That's really it. This will make it a solid axle. And then there's a pin that goes through. It'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. Well, I put the pin in here. It rotates nice. Seems good. Alright. Nice crappy job of this. And my not prepped surfaces that I didn't clean any of the old gasket material off of. It'll be fine. Just getting her nice and even. There's a few things I gotta get lined up here. I gotta get this down this hole. I gotta get this little guy out of this hole. And the rest the rest should kind of fall into place pretty easily. I had to just twist this shaft around a little bit and then it finally seated down. It was like hanging up and I guess it was just this like wasn't meshed in all the way or something. But now it's good. Now, uh, we gotta put a bunch of screws in here so. Alright, so gasket stuff said to put it on both sides, put it together, and then just tighten it a little bit, let it dry for an hour, and then tighten it down fully. So uh, we're going to wait an hour. We'll tighten this up, and then I guess I, I should check the instructions also, see if we have to wait to fill it with oil, because there might be a rule with that too. So. We'll, uh, we'll see you in an hour. We'll see if we can actually fill this thing with oil. I gotta read the back of this little tube. Here, so. All right, we're back after our drying period here. I actually went and threw all the accessories back on too. So we got a brake and uh, this is the throttle. Um, everything's all torqued. And I feel pretty good about this uh, sealing up. It looks mm, kind of ugly, but I think uh, I don't think we're going to have any leaks, hopefully, so. Uh, now, really, all I have to do is get that back up under the, uh, the mower. And I did check, um, unfortunately, we do have to wait 24 hours to fill this with oil. We've got to let the gasket fully cure, so um, we'll have to do the test tomorrow but I can fill it when it's in the mower. So I'm gonna get everything back together at least today. And then tomorrow all we gotta do is fill her up and uh, give it a go. So I'm gonna uh, start wrangling this thing back up underneath there. Um, I don't know how much I'll film. It'll probably just uh, magically appear underneath. So uh, here we go. Boom, just like that. We got our rear end. Transmission back in the mower. Everything's assembled. It's just missing this back plate, but uh, the fill is right here. So 
I'm gonna leave that off for now. Nice to see it with wheels again. But it has taken everything in me to not just fill it with oil now. But I will wait. Set it in the instructions. So I'll wait till tomorrow. I'll fill that sucker up. And hopefully it uh it works. Alright, the time has come. I'll fill this sucker up with two and a half quarts of 2050. Ah, uh, these golden oil. Looks like it's not working. some major air in the system so at first it just was not moving at all which was mildly concerning but it did come back to life eventually uh, now we're gonna try and add the last half a quart of oil or so that it's supposed to have and uh, we should be rocking and rolling well I think she's full <laughs> oh god. That little part. That's because these suckers are locked Whoa. up now. So it's basically doing a little burnout. got to the first lump and it would have been just done. This is about to be a, not a tug of war, but I'm gonna try and tow my car up the hill, up the driveway, which is actually a steep hill that you can't really see on camera. And uh, we're gonna see if she can do it here. Attempt number two, I aired down the tires and I hooked it up a little higher on the mower so hopefully it'll give it a little more pressure down on the tires. Just couldn't get traction before so let's see if she's got it this time. 